Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 3.8 and 3.9 as per new textbook from motion in a plane. Three girls skating on a circular ice ground of radius 200 meter starts from a point P on the edge of the ground and reaches a point Q diametrically opposite to P following different paths as shown in figure. What is the magnitude of the displacement? Vector for age. For which goal is this equal to the actual length of the path skated? Here we are having two sub questions. One is the magnitude of the displacement vector for each we need to calculate. And for which goal is the equal to, is this equal to actual length of the path skated. Coming to first one. What is the magnitude of the displacement? So the displacement here is equal to PQ bar. Therefore, the magnitude of the displacement, if we are taking it is S bar, suppose say S bar that is nothing but PQ bar is equal to, it is 2 times of radius of this circular path, that is equal to 2 times of, the radius given is 200, so that is equal to 400 meter. So that is the magnitude of the displacement vector for each. Coming to one more sub question. For which goal is this equal to the actual length of the path skated? Here girl A is traveling from point P to point Q along this curve. And C also traveling from P to Q in another curve. In this case, the distance traveled by A and C is not is equal to displacement. But the girl B is traveling in a straight line from P to Q. In this case, the displacement and distance in the case of girl B is same. So the answer is now girl B is the answer. Coming to 3.9. A cyclist starts from the center O of a circular park of radius 1 kilometer, reaches the edge P of the park, then cycles along the circumference and returns to the center along QO as shown in figure. If the round trip takes 10 minutes, what is the net displacement, average velocity and average speed of the cyclist? Here the situation is, initially the cyclist is at point O, which is at the center of the circle traveling towards P and from P to Q we has traveled and again Q to O he reached. Now the given data here radius is equal to 1 kilometer and while coming to the first sub question net displacement the net displacement is equal to 0 because the initial position, final position both are same. Why means the cyclist started from O and again reaches O. While coming to B, the average velocity. So average velocity is equal to displacement
divided by time taken. Here the displacement is 0 and time taken. Time taken is nothing but 10 minutes. That one also we can write in terms of hours 1 by 6 hour. So divided by 1 by 6 hour that is nothing but 0. Coming to C. Average speed. To get the average speed, first of all, we need to calculate the distance traveled. So, the distance traveled by the cyclist is equal to OP plus PQ plus QO. So, OP is nothing but radius. PQ is nothing but 1 by 4th of circumference. So, 1 by 4th of circumference of the circle plus QO is again radius. So, the radius given is 1 kilometer. So, 1 plus 1 by 4 into 2 pi into 1 plus 1. So, that is equal to if you simplify we will get 22 by 7, sorry, 25 divided by 7 kilometer, we will get it. Now, average speed, average speed is equal to Total distance traveled by total time taken. So, the distance traveled is 25 divided by 7 kilometer and time taken is nothing but 1 by 6 hour. So, after simplification, we will get 21.43 kilometer per hour. So, this is the average speed. So, these are the solutions of 3.8 and 3.9. Thank you.